This is another Common Sense with Freddie, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about capacity building over religion. Yes, you heard me right. Chasing capacity building instead of religion. My name is Coach Wilfred Asuko. I am a capacity builder. I am as well the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform, and also an IT consultant training and you know helping a lot of young people transition into the IT space from mere jobs to making six figure or from minimum wage to making six figure and if you're just joining this channel for the very first time please do not forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video so you see we grew up in a society in Africa where they made us believe that religion is everything. I fell a victim too, until just shortly before I left Nigeria, I began to realize that most of the things they were telling us was not or were not making sense. So I began to push back and they saw me as a rebel. They saw me as different things that just did not make sense to me. But you see, um, as an African child, they believe when an elder is speaking, you should be quiet. But here am I in a free country. We also have our platforms like this to express our mind and share our thoughts. Yes, I can tell you for a fact, capacity building would make you more successful than chasing religion. The way religion is being run or is being practiced back in my home country, motherland Nigeria, it's completely different from what I am seeing in the Western world. And it is concerning because a lot of people are getting poorer and poorer by the day. And I can tell you for a fact that religion would shut your IQ, possibly reduce your comprehension rate Whereas in capacity building, it's going to help you to solve problems. It's going to help you find solutions to problems and also help you to navigate life effectively. How is it not possible for you to know that after our creator, the next thing is science? Because virtually 98% of what you live on, what you see day to day is all science. Even your religious practices depends on science to strive. The building is architectural design based off science. The microphone, the projector, the TVs, the several stuff they use to run religion is all science. So what exactly is religion doing for you? Don't get me wrong. I believe in God. I believe in the supreme being. I believe in Ulua. I believe in Abasi. I believe in Chuku. These are the names of God that I grew up to understand in Africa. So, but to strive and to survive, you need capacity building. You need to be able to solve problems, improve upon those science discoveries that has existed over the years. Until you are able to improve on those sciences or find a solution to a problem or also create a solution to a problem that is yet to exist then you can't make money you can't strive and you cannot grow so today i present to you capacity building in terms of things you do i present to you those opportunities that would enable you to elevate your financial status for example how do you make a good substantial amount of money sitting remotely of course by doing an it job how would you be able to secure a high earning job remotely from wherever you are in the world is by acquiring knowledge in a specific field you can go to a religious center from morning till night speak in tongues for all i care it's not going to earn you such a job what is going to earn you such a job is when you acquire specific skills sometimes global certifications and building your resume which would project and sell you out there these are all capacity building resources that's the only way you can earn such a job that will pay you a significant amount of money I'm going to be talking about this more often than not, that capacity building overrides and supersedes religious activities.
see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.